take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Hi, welcome to the channel. We're here to free your mind. Choose between the red pill or the blue pill. But choose wisely. And let's get into it. This is a special news report. Kamala Harris calls Hitler. We discovered this with some covert operations. It was a dangerous mission, but it got accomplished. Apparently, Kamala Harris's campaign is in desperate, desperate need. They're falling behind in the polls. They're even stooping to a pre-recorded interview with her and her vice president-elect. Because she can't do it on her own, and she needs somebody to hold her hand. And this is interesting and profound and downright terrifying. Here we go. Oh, no, what is los? Where comes the shit away? Mein Führer, darf ich Ihnen zum Geburtstag gratulieren? Mein Führer, wir haben noch keine Meldung. Ich spreche gerade mit Cola. Cola, geben Sie mir Cola. <laughs> like, what do you want to know? Well, let's start with this. Uh, prices have gone up. And families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. And we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. That's about having to stress and stretch limited resources. That's about a source of stress for families that is not only economic, but is on a daily level, something that is a heavy weight to carry. So it is something that we take very seriously. Very seriously. We must take even the American people don't know what she's talking about. Together, work together. To see where we are, where we are headed, where we are going and our vision for where we should be, but also see it as a moment, yes, to together address the challenges. We have the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been and then to make the possible actually happen. Well, I think culture is, it, it is a reflection of our moment and our time. Right, and, and, and present culture is the way we express how we're feeling about the moment. And and we should always find times to express how we feel about the moment that is a reflection of joy because, you know, it comes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find ways to also express the way we feel about the moment in terms of just having language and, and, and a connection how people are experiencing life, and I think about it in that way, too. <laughs> we all watched the television coverage of just yesterday. That's on top of everything else that we know and don't know yet, based on what we've just been able to see, and because we've seen it or not doesn't mean it hasn't happened. <laughs> So you're now no longer are you necessarily keeping those private files in some file cabinet that's locked in the basement of the house. It's on your laptop and it's then therefore up here in this cloud that exists above us, <laughs> right? We can't believe it either. <laughs> this is just brilliant. Whoever put this together just did an excellent job. The United States has to be consistent. There were times when we were more engaged and we saw good results. Less engaged. And, and we can see where, where the work and the partnerships then to 
deteriorate. So I am committed to ensuring that we engage in an active way on the root causes, on addressing the cause and effect, and also being partners in the Western Hemisphere, understanding that we have a responsibility, and if we ignore that responsibility, it will visit itself upon us in a very domestic way. <laughs> <laughs> a movement that has always been about the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been. <laughs> we are. <laughs> that, that part just was. <laughs> that was. Oh my God. <laughs> Demonstrating that when we have leadership in the highest offices in the land, including in the White House, who believe in what we can do, and then when we push to make it so, it allows other people who perhaps before couldn't imagine it. To now see how it works, and we are building then the movement in such a substantial way in terms of those who are coming into the rooms to be a part of what we know is in the best interest of obviously our country, but our world. <laughs> you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. That's just honor, honor. The Russian steht 12 kilometers from Stadtkern. Und ich erfahre das sozusagen auf Nachfrage. <lacht> mein Führer, vielleicht handelt es sich ja wirklich um Fernfeuer. Sie erwinden eine Eisenbahnbrücke über die Oder. Ach, Unsinn! <lacht> that was... Oh, man. That was just brilliant. I found that hysterical. Whether you're voting for her or not. It was funny. If they did it to Trump, I would laugh too. It's it's hilarious. I hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> as, mu as much as I did. <laughs> well, thank you for that breaking news and joining me for that seriously breaking news. <laughs> y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.